talking about being courageous. I, I want to encourage you, we're doing something today that has to do with courage, and that's baptisms. Right after the service, we have our baptismal set up, and we have a way that you can come forward. If you've never been baptized, if you've never been able to, in front of others, say, I have decided to follow Jesus, and I accept what he's done in my life, man, this is a great day to do it. And let me give you a few, few reasons, because if you've never done it, it's always a great time to say, I am ready to be all in. I'm really ready to celebrate what God has done. And like I said, it, it might be something that has held you back because you thought, I don't know if I have the strength. I don't know if, if I have what it takes. And so maybe this is a moment of courage for you. But I want you to know that when God says that you, when you obey him, he will give you all the strength that you need for that. So that's going to be something right after the service. And guys, um, for those of you who have been around the last couple weeks, I want you to know um, that there's some news. I, I've, uh, God has been leading me and my family on a, on a journey to take a courageous, difficult step, step as well. And next week is actually going to be my last week as the campus pastor here for Saddleback Brea. And I don't say that with joy. It, it's been great joy to be here as the campus pastor. So if you're looking to be baptized, if you've been waiting, guys, this is my last week of doing it as your campus pastor. All right. <laughs> so don't wait any longer. Um, it's not about me baptizing you. It's actually about what God is doing. But if, if I've been a part of your journey, I want to celebrate with you today. And in that journey, um, man, it's as, as for our family, as we are stepping towards what God has called us to do, there's a lot of emotion around that as well. Uh, this morning as I was coming, uh, we, we come early. I come with four of my kids uh, in the morning to help set up, and we were just talking. How are you feeling? And there's a lot of sadness. Like, I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling, you know, I'm, I'm missing, I'm feeling like I'm going to be missing people, and we all feel like that. One of my kids, she said, I'm happy, and everybody looks and says, well, why did you say happy? She said, because we get to serve God. And so I love that they are stepping into this together, but I can tell you as we came here to, uh, to start originally Saddleback Your Belinda and then Brea, this church has been like a baby to us. How much have we spent time and, and, and energy caring for, for this church as, as it launched, and we care so much as we step towards what God is calling us to, it doesn't mean that we don't love you. So one of the things that I've been praying for from this whole, this whole process is God is putting this on my heart. God, who is going to lead this campus? Who's going to love this campus as we have loved? Uh, I know, God, you're going to still be leading this campus. You're going to be the one truly in charge, and you love the people here. So I'm confident of that. But who will that be to lead? And so today I'm excited because I get to share with you who our next campus pastor is going to be for Saddleback Brea. And I can tell you that he absolutely fills that description. Someone who absolutely loves the Lord who has a passion for the word of God, and who loves you well. So our next campus pastor is going to be Pastor A.J. Boncori. Let's bring him up. Yes, you guys can celebrate. And he's going to bring up his family. Oh. Guys, I can tell you... Um, I love this guy. I love this family. I really do. Uh, I have seen how much he has determined in his heart to follow God and to, to learn what it takes to lead, even if it's difficult. I've seen how he has put in the time, the energy um, to do all that. And so for, um, for AJ, for this church, I, I really believe that God is going to take Saddleback Brea to, to new places that we've never even been able to experience yet. God has some beautiful things uh, in store. And, and guys, I want to tell you, God started something long ago. We know that the Bible tells us that he has prepared great things for us to do before, um, before we were even born. And we know that. But let me tell you in a really specific way how God had been preparing uh, Pastor AJ. When I, was, uh, when I was talking with Pastor Rick about starting Saddleback Yorba Linda, before any other, I mean, before the staff even knew about it, uh, well, some of the staff knew, but it wasn't public knowledge. This guy, he comes up to me, and he's like, hey, I, I heard you're starting a planting a church up in, in your Belinda. And he said, can I be part of that? Like, I'll, I'll come and help in whatever way. I want to learn. I want to be part of that. And, and it wasn't the timing that God had in store. I mean, Christy at the time was working at Saddleback Anaheim, and it just wasn't going to be a good fit for two churches at the same time. So it didn't work out, but God had already put that in your heart from long ago. 
And guys, I can tell you that he loves you. You guys see his hugs and his smiles. You see that regularly. If you've been around for any amount of time, you know how much he'll, he loves you, how he'll take the time to pray with you. But let me tell you, behind the, behind the scenes, he's the same person that you see in front of you. He, he loves you. He prays for you. And, and so I have such great confidence and peace knowing that God has anointed him. And I can tell you, Pastor Andy has met with him, and Pastor Andy loves this guy, not a surprise, and the elders and everybody are excited. So, um, AJ, you want to say something? Uh, um, you want to introduce your family? Yeah, for those who why don't, don't know? I do that? <laughs> um, so, this is my wife, Christy, which is going to be easy for you guys to remember. <laughs> uh, we're just... We're making it easy from uh, Pastor Tosha's wife, Christy, then to, to my wife, Christy. So, um, and then this is our son, Ryan. If you guys have seen Ryan a- around, Ryan will be four years old on Tuesday. And uh, we also yeah. have uh, uh, another, um, uh, another one coming in March. So yeah. we're excited. So I'm not quite, I'm not quite at seven. Uh, we know we're losing some at SK, but I'm doing my best to, to do my part to grow uh, SK. Um, you know, I, I'm sort of speechless because I don't deserve this. You guys are incredible. You all are so amazing. I love you guys. What God does through you each and every week is just incredible. It's your love for Jesus that is going to take our church into the, into the future that God has for us. Your love and your compassion for one another, it's infectious that when people step through the doors, they feel this warmth, they feel this welcoming, and it's because of you guys. And it's such a privilege to me, to my family, to be able to be in this position that we don't deserve. But we said yes. And as this transition, it's been you know, sort of a micro version of what, what uh, Andy has been experiencing. Um, you know, Pastor Tosh, he's the last founding campus pastor under Rick's leadership, and I will be the first uh, uh, campus pastor under Andy's leadership. Yes. Yes. So this is, this is a really special and historic passing yeah. of the baton. This is, yeah. this, is, this is very historic. So we are excited. We are thrilled for what God has for us. And um, I'm looking forward just to getting to know you more. Um, For those of you who I haven't met, if this is your first time, I love you guys. I'm glad that you're here. Um, And I look forward to what God's going to do through each and every one of you. That's awesome. Thank you, AJ. I'm going to have my family come on up. You know, uh, next week we're going to do something really special. It's going to be a commissioning for Pastor AJ and his family as they step into this role. It's going to be really special. We're bringing the chaos up here, all right? We call it beautiful chaos. Um, Thank you for entering into this chaos with us. (laughs) We love it. Um, But you know what? The reason I wanted to do this is because I can tell you our family has been praying for you for years. We love you. This is is my Christy. Uh, (laughs) And uh, we, we love you. And we know that as we step away from this role, we are handing over not just... A, it's not a position. It's not just an organizational thing. It, it's the love for this community, this congregation, for you. And so as we, as a family, have been praying for this church, I know that AJ and Christy and Ryan will be taking, and, and the new baby are going to be taking that on. So we wanted to take a moment and just pray. So let, let's pray. If you guys want to put your hands forward in agreement, this is something we sometimes do, just say, hey, I agree with you, as we pray for them. Father God, we thank you so much that you love this church, that you love this community, and that you have been preparing for this time. You've been preparing us. Thank you for not leaving us without plans. Thank you for not just abandoning this church. But Lord, thank you for having greater plans than any one of us could ever come up with. And thank you, Lord, that you have been preparing AJ and Christy and Ryan and the baby for this special moment. God, thank you for preparing a family that loves you and that loves this church. And Lord, I pray that you would give them all the wisdom, all the strength, all the courage, all the discernment, everything that they need to be the leaders that you've called them to be in this church. We love you, we trust you, and I pray, Lord, that even this congregation, that they would be able to rally behind 
this family just like they've rallied behind us. It's in your name that we pray, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 <laughs> oh. All right. How can you not laugh? I mean, you got these kids. Um, and Jesus says, let all the on. children come to me, right? There we go. So, all we right, kids, wave kids. goodbye. All right. <laughs> now, there's one thing that I wanted to remind you guys about, if, if you haven't already. Um, it's this, this flyer. It's in each one of your bulletins. Uh, this is just a way that we can stay connected with Pastor Tosh and his family and ways that we can support them. So if you guys take a look inside of there, uh, there's some things that we're doing that are special. Um, we're, we're all writing, uh, giving you guys an opportunity to write a thank you letter, just a, a letter of appreciation. Um, there's a blank letter inside of your bulletin, and then you can just start filling that out um, throughout the service. Um, just write a special note of what either they've meant to you, a funny story, a, a memory, something like that and then put it in the uh, offering basket on the way out. The second thing is um, we have a Facebook group, which you can find the link for on the back. Um, and it's just a way that you guys can uh, post a video and just, you know, in, you know, face to face or through the camera, you can just say what the Swamidoff family has meant to you. Um, and then lastly, you can put this um, up on your refrigerator just to pray for them. More than anything, to support them in, this, in, in the future that God has for them is through your prayers. Um, and so, yeah. So I just wanted to remind you guys of that. Thank you. Guys, I, I, I want to tell you, I love you, brother. Love you, too. I want to tell you guys just how much I love you and so how I'm thankful for you. Thank you for how you've supported my family in, in your prayers, in your encouragements. And, I mean, when we've had babies, when we've gone through all sorts of things. Uh, you, you guys were there when my dad passed away just a month after we launched the campus. And just the support as a new campus pastor that you poured into me. You guys are family forever. That's something that I am so thankful for because of God. Uh, in, in that card, that prayer card, on the back you'll see a QR code, and there's a link. If you want to type it in, that's fine, or if you want to just use the QR code, that'll take you to a website that gives a little information about what I'm doing, but also something I would love. If you're interested in staying updated in what God is doing, because there's a lot of things that I don't know yet, but I want to keep you updated. When you go to that website, you can subscribe, put in your email for updates. Because I want to stay connected to you. So if you're up for that, go ahead and check that out. And uh, guys, I love you. I'm gonna, I, I don't want you to miss next Sunday. It will be our last Sunday here as your campus pastor. But it's also going to be a special celebration as we get to celebrate this new era as we have Pastor AJ and his family leading. So guys, it's going to be a special commissioning weekend. And I think it's perfect as we're wrapping up this series as well. Uh, now... Uh, I'm going to be here this next week, but guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be around, and uh, after the service, you can drop in all the stuff with the connection card and everything in the baskets that come around. But right now, um, there's one more thing I want to tell you about, and you can see that in your program, there's some flyers, there's tear-off cards for a block party. And guys, this is coming up in two weeks. It's going to be an incredible time to connect with the community, and ha it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have food and games and all sorts of great things right here, but I'm not going to tell you too much. Pastor Andy is going to tell you about the heart of this and what we're doing, so I'm going to let him explain what's coming up. Let's join with Pastor Andy and the rest of Saddleback. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Saddleback Church. We are so glad that you're here with us today. We're in the middle of a series called Uncommon Courage, where we're talking about how do we live with greater levels of courage. And today you're going to hear an incredible message from my wife, Stacy. It's her first ever message here at Saddleback. And I know that God's going to speak to you through her. Now, if you're joining us physically at one of our campuses, you received a bulletin or a program when you walked in. And I want to call your attention to that because inside there's one thing that you need, and that's a connection card. In fact, I want to invite you to pull that connection card out for just a moment, and you'll see on the front end, there's a place that you can let us know what steps you're taking today in response to today's message. And then on the back side, perhaps there's some ways that we can be praying with you and come alongside you. And at our campuses physically, you can drop those off in the buckets at the end of the time together. And at our Connection Center, we have some leaders that are ready today to connect with you, pray with you, help you with any steps that you want to take today in your journey. Now, before we get to today's message, I want to make sure you know about one event that's coming up two weeks from today at all of our campuses. It's one massive party that we're calling a block party. Now, this party is not just any party. It's a party with a purpose. 
And the purpose of the party is so that we can bring our friends to church. So every one of us, we have people in our lives, friends, family members, coworkers, neighbors, that are currently disconnected from God and disconnected from church. And this weekend, two weeks from today, is a great event to bring your friends to church. So we're going to have a short service. It's going to be a short service with a short message from me. The message is all about how to begin 